So this is not a group of shroots or anything like this. You know, they look like cigars, but these are in fact horseradish roots. And you'll notice that uh, they've come in a package uh, nicely uh, um, put together and lots of instructions with them as well. And you'll notice also that they're very, f they're very f uh, healthy roots. Um, they're, s they're quite moist and quite um, pliable, so that's good. And you'll notice also that um, when you need to plant these things, it's sometimes difficult to know which is the top and which is the bottom. But very cleverly, these have been cut with a little wedge at the bottom and flat at the top so you can see which way they should go in in the ground. When you plant them in the ground, you simply make a hole and put them straight down into the hole. And they need to be about uh, two feet apart. And in that way, th they'll grow and make a really big plants. This is the thing about horseradish, they make really big plants, quite decorative I think in the, in the vegetable garden. Um, but the, the, very, the, the important thing about it is you've got to remember is they will spread and they, then, uh, they're a bit like mint, they'll sort of take over the world if you're not careful. So it may be that you plant them straight into the, into the plot, which is fine if you've got a big enough plot, or you may want to put them, uh, plant them inside some kind of uh, way of containing them into a container, maybe a pot with no bottom on, or maybe to make a, a little uh, square with some uh, roofing slates and then plant them inside that. That way they, they'll grow away fine. The other thing is that when you come to use it, you only use the, the, the pieces of root that you need and the plants are perennial so they'll grow on again. So they make fine plants and uh, obviously they're a very fine source. So don't forget when you plant these things, you make a hole with a dibber or a trowel, drop them in, but the pointy end that's been cut at an angle, put that, it make sure that's at the bottom and this is at the top. Or the other way, if it's a root like this, it's, uh, it's fairly obvious that this is the slim bit, this is the chunky bit and that's the bit that goes near the top.